and hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age on the PlayStation 4. I'm your host Nicodemus Kane and we are back in Rabinaster. So the last episode I am pretty sure that we got done um, doing some meeting or something and we said what we need to do is we need to head out to some place. It's just too bad that they won't let us look at any other maps. But there's another city that we have to go to, so we have to do some shopping first, and that's what we're going to do. So I said this episode, we're just going to take it easy. We're going to walk around, we're going to do a little bit of shopping, we're going to have some fun. So here we go. The guards were running about like mad the other day. I heard a rumor that it has something to do with the sinking of the Imperial fleets. I haven't heard a word since. What do you suppose happened? Um, no comment. <laughs> what do you gotta say? Rex's friend. I couldn't help but overhear you're leaving You're leaving to find the Gariff? Well, I happen to know the way. You first need to pass through Giza Plains. Does anybody see this little kid over here on the, the left side screen? Doing handstands? Uh, so you need to pass through Giza Plains, so we have to go south is what we have to do. From Giza, continue south, and you should come to the Gariff Village. Whatever your errand there, good luck. That's what it was. We have to go see the Gariffs because uh, Fran thinks that they might know what the crystal or something is supposed to do. I don't remember what it was. Uh, it's been a while since I recorded. I think the last time I recorded was, uh, well, two weeks ago, actually, as a matter of fact. Uh, because the date on the uh, save file was two weeks from now. So there you go. And that may not even be it because I may have come in and do a little bit of leveling. I did some leveling. You hear me? I'm like stuttering. I don't even know why I'm stuttering. I'm not really a stutterer. But uh, I did do a little bit of leveling, uh, mostly because something interesting I found out. Let me finish this. Uh, the other day I tripped and bumped into an Imperial. Normally I count myself lucky to get away with a harsh scolding. But he didn't even stop to look at me. He just ran off like nothing happened. I wonder what was going on to make him act like that. Well, you know, again, we got stuff going on. Anyways, something I don't know if I, uh... Something I don't know if, if I found out in the last episode, but we're going to go over it again. Uh, I found out that not only was um, Ash, because we gave Ash the archer, not only was Ash the only one that could have a multiple job, everybody else could get their multiple job, or their second job. So I was like, oh, wow, totally cool. And so I started going through, and I, uh, I opened everybody's second job up. Uh, this is what they are on the screen now. And I was like, well, shit, now I need some LP to be able to fill all these up. So I went out and I just did a little bit of leveling, not much. I tried to avoid any places where I think there'd be some cutscenes. And that's a lot. And believe me, that to be able to fill up the... These are the second jobs. To be able to fill up these second jobs as much as I did... That was a lot of going out, going around and running around. So trust me, I I spent a fair amount of time out there. Busy messengers. Rain have come to Giza. The, the rains, plural, have come to Giza. You'd be surprised how the land changes if you aren't expecting it. The boss has me mapping the place out. Hmm, anything useful? Well, the most important thing I found out is that the rains opened a passage leading to Osmone Plain. The rains in the plains lead to Osmone Plains. Or something like that, I don't know. Hey there, hear about any juicy marks? Boy, I'm looking for the parts, what you need to make serpent wine. Don't want to be, don't want to be beaten to the punch, least of all by the likes of you. Serpent wine. Huh, I wonder what it takes to make serpent wine. So are there literally no vendors down this lane? You got all these people with these shops, but none of these guys sell anything. It's just people talking. Ugh, come on. Vane was scheduled to make an inspection of the bazaar, but it was canceled for some reason. I wonder what could have happened. Yet again. <laughs> I thought about stocking wares from the village on Giza Plains, but then I heard it was the rains, not a soul to be found there. Okay. Uh... Let's talk to her first. The bazaar is one of the few places in Ramanaster where people can go to let off steam and can almost forget the constant watch we're under. Almost. 
Yeah, but there's nothing here. There's nobody selling anything. I mean, you guys got stuff everywhere, but you're not selling anything to me. Uh, heh heh, have all sorts of goodies for sale, lad. Hee <laughs> hee, but none for you. Ha <laughs> ha, members only here. That, well, there we go. Now we know that you gotta be some kind of exclusive member asshole. Screw you guys, man. Screw you guys and the boat you came in on. Gatsley? Oh, hello. I wanted to thank you again for your help. Our shipment arrived safely and business has been brisk. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten our arrangement. Go to a nearby shop. Any will do and look in the bizarre goods. Put together a little something from the goods we received. You shouldn't have any trouble finding it. Okay. Cool. Thanks. What do you got? Nana cheese, nana cheese. Interest you in a wheel, my boy? Nana cheese. Nana 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 cheese. I set off for the Gear Village to see about stocking some of their wares, but I got lost on the way and barely made it back. I'm fairly sure I had the right directions. South through the Giza Plains and then southwest through Osmond Plain, but I didn't get very far. Sure. Uh, welcome, welcome to the Muthru Bazaar, finest goods in all Rabin Asher. Deals not to be missed, but you have to be a card-carrying asshole to be able to, to deal anything in there. Sorry about your luck. Not hunting monsters these days, are you? Uh, better, better than your old work with the Imperials, I suppose, but still dangerous enough. Monsters fight just like me or you. They go after the one they hate the most first. Like how we might go for a poisonous monster, you know. I, I don't even know why it's so weird for me to even read this. There's nothing monsters hate more than healing. You remember that? It just might come in handy. Nothing monsters hate more than healing. What the fuck? How about if we, um... How about if we only... Oh, moogling attendants. Um, no. I, unless you're selling maps. How about if we only talk to the guys that have names? <laughs> <laughs> Do you sell maps? Welcome to the Moogling. This is your first time using the Moogling. Nothing to it. The Moogling lets you tra teleport to several select locations across Rabbit Aster. We had to close for the parade earlier, but we're up and running again. Koopo, the service is free of charge. Why not give it a try? There's no time like the presents. No. Not yet. Seriously, though. Patient Bonga? Um, no. Swarthy Bonga? What if we only talk to the people that... Oh, well, she's troubled. Let's talk to her. She might have a thing. Vaughn, I haven't seen you around the city much these days. What have you been doing? Nothing too dangerous, I hope. I'm sorry. It's really none of my business, but sometimes I think about Rex and I get worried for you. Be careful, okay? Okay. But just to, to save us from having to talk to every fucking person in the game, and, you know, maybe we just talk to the people that look kind of interesting. Uh, her name is Kitchen, Kitten, Kitchen, Kitten, Jin. So the J is silent, so it's Kitten. Okay. Uh, hello, I'm called Kitten. Uh, I left my home and came to Rabinaster only quite recently. I have yet to learn my way around. I had been hoping to find someone I might speak with. Should you like to talk again, it would please me greatly. Okay, can we talk? Is the city not wonderful? I still lose my way on occasion, but I have come to know some of her walks and alleyways. But the land, I cannot hear it. Should this not trouble me as a Viera? Uh, should she be ashamed or no, don't be silly. Um, yes, you should totally be ashamed. With those ears, you should be able to hear everything. No, don't be silly. I'm glad you think so. I sometimes worry that a true Vera would not have such difficulty finding her way. I wonder if my sister had such doubts when first she left the wood. Uh, pay no mind to my mutterings. Pray speak with me again soon. Your sister, huh? Who left the woods? You know, we happen to have a Vera in the party. Just saying. Uh, I sometimes lose my way, but for the most part, I can find what I must now that I've... Not that I've any place to be particularly. Right. Well, we're just gonna let her... We're gonna let her sit, because she's, she's doing her thing. Oh god, there's so many people to talk to, and I don't want to talk to all of you. Um, is this the, um... 
You're not sure what this sign is for. <laughs> nice. Okay, conspicuous Benga. Ah, uh, you've got your primer, so you have. Well, what are you standing out about out here for? In with you. I uh, can't quite recall your face. Are you new? Might want to pay special heed to what the folks inside have to say. Yes, this is the, uh... This is the, uh, the hunt place. I can't remember the name of it. Well, are you going in or not? Okay, let me in. We might as well go in. We might as well see what this is. I mean, I already kind of remember what this is, but I figured, hey, why not, you know? You get, like, the, the super special hunts here. The little moogle. Yeah, the clan hall. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, wait, what was my... I gotta... Or is that just for the door? It's just for the door. Alright, so what's going on in here, Bansat? A new member are you? My name's Bansat. I'm a hunter here in Clan Centurio. Pleased to meet ya. Alright. Who's this guy? Monid. What are you looking at? This ain't no place for children. Him, he's an exception. His parents were born were both hunters. And they were friends of mine to boots, that is, until they set out on a hunt for this for this one most notorious mark. But I'll avenge them, be sure of it's I've been keeping an ear to the ground, listening for any sign of that mark ever since. That's what this place is all about. It's a deadly serious business, this. Not to be taken lightly, you hear? Right. These guys are fighting. What the hell? So apparently this guy up top here, he looks familiar. Well, not really familiar so much as he just looks like he's important. Mont Blanc. Coupopo, yours is a new face. Are you a hunter? Welcome to our clan hall. I'm Mont Blanc. Uh, Blanc. Blanc. Mont Blanc. Get it right. It flows down from underneath the voice. Mont Blanc. Founder of Clan Centurio. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Kubo. Our clan has a very strict... Strict... Yeah, see, now it's getting Russian. Strict entrance examination. You should begin yours at once, and you pass. Moogles are quick to make up their minds, Kubo. That was easy. And now we're a member of Clan Centurio. Hey. Here in the, clans, in the clan hall, you'll hear about especially dangerous marks. You won't find posted on any board. The moment they rear their ugly heads. Well, I'll get on with filling the necessary clan membership certificates. I'll be finished in no time flat, Koopo. Koopo, I nearly forgot. Now that you're a member, you can make purchases from a clan shop in the Muthru Bazaar. Be sure to stop by, Koopo. Happy hunting. Well, shit. All right. That was good stuff. Oh, there's another beer back here, too. K uh, cr cringe? <laughs> cringe? Cr cringe? Cr cringe? Cringe? Okay. Not kitten. Cringe. Yes, what is it you need? I'm Kryn, a hunter of Clan Centurio. To know my boundaries... To know my boundaries, did I join the clan? It is a wellspring of information about powerful remarks. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a sister, would you? Just saying. Uh, McKinra? McKinra. A new clan member? Hmm, I'm McKinro. Uh, a pleasure, I'm sure. Unlike our other members, I cannot participate in the hunts. My specialty lies in the collection of information. If you have a question about one of your marks, ask. I will tell you what I know. Alright. Well, we're not really hunting for any marks right now. We just came in here just to make sure it was, you know, just to see what it was. So what are these two idiots doing? Clan member, what do you got to say? Are you new here, Koopo? My advice for you, always be sure to check for the latest bills. Never know when a new one might be posted. Uh, no matter the notice board you check, the bills will be the same. So go to the nearest one and you're set, Koopo. Alright. So where is the, um... Are there any boards in here, or do we have to... No, guess not. Alright, well, we're going to continue on. We don't need to... <laughs> we could spend all day in that damn place. Talking to people and finding out about stuff. So how about if we keep on rolling? She said that Mutra Bazaar... 
She said there was a... Uh, we get to use one of the... What did she say? It was one of the things in the Mutra Bazaar. So we get to use that. Do we go the right way? We went the right way. So then, why is it not... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, why is it not showing up on the thing? But now it's showing up on the thing. So, right... Um, is it here? Oh, no, there it is. Right there. Clan Provisioner. I <laughs> heard the boss gave you the okay. But it's not that simple, lad. We've got strict rules you gotta abide by here. Things I can sell you depend on your clan rank. If you want to crack at the good stuff, best raise your rank. I doubt you'll be disappointed. Didn't mean to talk your ear off. Go on and take a look at what we have for your rank, of course. New bizarre goods available. Alright, let's see what these bizarre goods are. Uh, forgotten grimoire. Text dating from antiquity. Prescribing tactics and guidance to those who would walk a given path. Really? What does it do? It's 18,000 gil. I mean, we got 141,000 gil, so I mean, we're not hurting. You obtain the Hunter's Monograph. Okay, whatever the fuck that is. So we got here. Oil, increase fire damage, dealt to all foes in range. Oh, these are magics and decoy. Cause one ally to be the target of all foes. Okay, sure. And decoy. Why not? Then that's all we can do for now. We, we, we have to go... We have to go raise our rank. We might do that. Uh, we'll, I mean, that'll be down the line. I'm not worried about it right now. Hey, kitten. I think I found your sister. Sometimes I lose my way. Yeah, you said that last time. I wish I had something to drink. <laughs> I know my, uh, my my throat's getting a little raw. It'd be nice. But of course, I'm an idiot. I never think of these things. I never think of these things whenever I'm doing this. So we've never been up here. What do you gotta say? We went off the Giza Plains looking for work, but it turns out it was the rains. Went all that way and didn't see a soul. Well, sucks for you. And that's just another rabbit aster. He's a traveler. Uh oh, we got talking to travelers. Apparently, Vane's been summoned back to Arcades. I'm sure it will only be temporary, though. If not, what reason have I to remain in Rabinaster? Oh, I do hope he comes back soon. Right, and I'm not talking to Imperials because we might be in trouble with the Imperials. So I'm not doing that. So what is this? Is this nothing? This is nothing. Wait, what's this? Look at this. Wow. That's a view. <laughs> Alright, we're not talking to any of these guys. Dispirited woman? Nah. Nah. Grab a Nastrin. Um, that's like I said, we're not going to talk to all these damn people. It's just going to be too much. So this is a... This is Gambit's. Let's go in here and, and uh, check this out. This may well turn out to be a, a two-episode... Uh, or. Yeah, two-episode little thing. Two-episode shopping trip. There we go. Yamura, at your service. Please take all the time you like. Oh, he's got a chess board on the, on the table there. Nice. Okay, what do you uh, have that I don't own? Do you have anything that I don't have? <laughs> I, I own everything. Unbelievable. Yeah, there's nothing he has that I can't have. But yeah, there's a chess board. They're playing chess. Neat. Probably some uh probably some random ass game that they they have that's not, you know, perfect chess. It's Final Fantasy chess. So where are we going? We gotta go south. And I'm not gonna go to Low Town. There's nothing in Low Town. I mean, what are we gonna go to Low Town for? There might be side quests and stuff, too. I am well aware of this, but I'm not worried about it right now. So, should we go get supplies? Let's at least go look. No, this is the tavern. I don't want this, I don't want this fancy. No, the only thing going on in here is, is the hunts. I don't want to deal with the hunts. 
so this is what's this technics let's go see if there's any technics and yes there are tons of people inside of each one of these shops that you can talk to i we don't need to talk to all these people welcome to batons we have a fine selection of technics i'm sure you'll find something to your liking traveler a deal damage based on total steps taken to all foes in range okay I don't really know what that means but all right is it do you is it the further away is it the further away you uh, you try to attack something the harder you hit it I mean is it that, that sounds a little weird but all right <laughs> I guess <laughs> uh, shit it. Okay, what's this? Is this magic? Yes. We might be able to get through this. This this might not be so bad. Alright, Yugri. Welcome to Yugri's Magics. How may I help you? Do you have anything that I don't have? No, you do not. Alright. See, that's... That's the other good thing about uh, the leveling that I used to do, especially in Lahusu, because all that uh, all that gill that you wind up getting by you know going through and just keep you know keep doing it, keep doing it, you wind up being able to buy everything else, and you don't have to worry about going in and you know buying all this crap, and having to grind out for money. That's just so nice, just being able to have it, not having to worry about it. Panamis, uh, we have a fine assortment of armors for the choosing. There's sure to be something to tickle your fancy. And there might be. Because of the second jobs that have opened up, there might be stuff that we could use. But, just by looking at it, everything is a negative so far. Negative, negative. Still negative. <laughs> so far, there's nothing here worth buying yet. But again, because I don't have... I don't have everything opened up on the license boards um, for the, the secondary jobs. I can't... I don't know if, if there's stuff that we'll need later. We'll probably find out in the next town we get to, which I think will probably be, um... It's not Arcadia. What's it called? I mean, whenever we get down to this, uh, the plains, Giza plains, there's nothing... I mean, there, I'm sure there's a... I think there's a town down there. Look at the size of that sword! Holy shite! Take the ML challenge. You'll not find weapons of higher quality. I want that big bastard in the back. That's what I want. It come from an iron giant? Had to have come from an iron giant, man. That thing is huge. Alright, anything. Is there gonna be anything? I doubt there's gonna be anything here. I got a feeling that this Oh wait! Serpent rod, yes! Thank god we could actually buy something. Holy crap. But I got a feeling this trip, this little trip here, was for all the people that uh didn't level like crazy and might have missed the uh, the guy selling stuff out by the um, what was it called? Sansi? Not Sansi. Yeah, the Sansi. The uh, Ymir Yashir Hinsa Shinsa uh, Rujaburza Sansi? Whatever the hell it's called. What the fuck is called? <laughs> um, is that it? Is there nothing else? There's nothing else. That was it. See, that was easy. That was an easy trip. So, we are going south. That's what they said. So, we're just going to go ahead and go down here. Giza Plains. I'm going to go down here to the save crystal. And I'm going to stop. And then the next episode, that's where we're going to go. We're going to head out to the Giza Plains. We're going to see what it's like for the rains. I, got a I just got a little little weirded out there because whenever the doors open my uh my controller vibrates and i didn't know that's what it was doing i was like oh my god all right so we're gonna stop here thank you guys very much for watching this has been final fantasy 12 the zodiac age this was a nice simple little 
resting episode, you know, where we could just run around and do some stupid crap that was nothing for us to buy. That's all right. I mean, that'll be okay. We're not, we're not dying here. We're really not. I'm, I'm way over leveled for what this is. Anyways, so we're we're doing good. We're doing really good. But next episode, like I said, we're gonna go down to Giza Plains. We're gonna see what the rains are like, and then we are going to keep heading south. Where we're we going, Osmone Plain, and then we are trying to hit. Um, who are we trying to find? Gareth Village should be south. So that's what we're gonna do next episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, or don't. It really doesn't matter at this point, but I absolutely thank everybody who does. And until next time, I wish you all well in all your future endeavors, and I hope that the will last for you. God bless, take care, save often, and I shall see you then. Later, guys.